By the way, you guys did apparently inform me too. There's actually a uh, a hidden uh, value that's actually stored at the very start of the game called the WTF value, which is uh, basically the game will roll between a one and a 13. And the higher the number, the more likely you are to run into uh, funny, random, goofy, completely like off kilter Easter eggs. Apparently, guys, said there's even like at like the highest value uh which is 13 you would actually come across an npc who's just like i fucking love my air conditioning which is definitely a good what the fuck moment i'd say i'd say if i had come across that like naturally i would have been i definitely would have said what the fuck <laughs> what was that however unfortunately it, according to you guys it seems you've already figured out somehow that i actually have a value of one which means i'm gonna come across like next to nothing so well, that sucks <laughs> bad roll guess we're gonna have to start the whole game over again but that's kind of funny. It's, it's sort of interesting because then that means even if you play through the game again, you at least have a chance of maybe seeing some new stuff that you wouldn't have seen the first time. Kind of a cute idea. Especially if you're like talking to somebody else and you tell them, hey, did you come across that, that one NPC who just says, I fucking love my air conditioning? They're like, what? No. Just talk to, yeah, that one dude in town. Dude, I talked to him. He didn't say that. What? No, I swear to God, he said, you're so full of shit. Fuck you, Billy. <laughs> it's snowing. Oh, hey. Watermelons are my favorite part of summer. <gasps> it's gone. Oh, Amor's by himself now. Oh, I see. I think a birthday cake. Yep. A wish. But what should I wish for? I have everything I, I could want right here. <laughs> I like, I'm like, like, man, I haven't seen any indication of anything off and oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> the immediate next scene. All right, go on ahead. Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. I think I see cookies. Cards, stuffed animal, Mars cookies. Mars cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. It's like, I, I don't like, see, I'm seeing all these memories here and I, I just don't know what I thought of like Mari, like my initial gut was like, oh, she's a demon Lord. I think even if it was like a case of like repressed abuse or something, I, I don't think you would be looking at Mari with any kind of like this feeling of like, oh man, she's just great, you know? I don't think. We're still young, we should dream big, right? It's childhood memories. <laughs> I look at this, look at this moon over here, Pluto puts his head out, hey, I was going, ah! <laughs> Can I hear Pluto, you're ruining my, my emotional recollection. The first time I had sex was in the back of my dad's Beamer. <laughs> So many wonderful horny memories. Ah, oh, fuck. Can't just be all nice and sunny and happy, right? Holy shit. Lines. Uh. Oh, hey. F. F's in the chat, boys. <laughs> Oh, that was not, wow, really? In this obligatory scene, that was actually not one of the letters. Okay, so that is actually not of down there. Um, so it must be two. It must be something to black space. I, th I think it's, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, because we 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 came from right our what was called the white space. Is this like solving this going to take us to the black space, to the dark side? Replace? No, no. Oh, oh, welcome to black space. Got it. I did it. I'd like to solve the puzzle, Pat. Okay. Welcome to black space. You got it. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> she music on a music stand. All the notes have been scribbled out. Uh-oh. Family faces gone. Oh, fuck, demon. Uh oh. 
Ooh, that made me jump. Gosh, again, it sh if... Ah, fuck, I'm back here again. I was like, fuck you. I was gonna... <laughs> I could run, but I was like, nah, screw that. I'm gonna fight this thing. At that time, I saw everything. Uh-oh. When you stood there, when you stood here before, did you see it too? Hmm. There's something behind you. Three days left? Till what? Oh, computer, you wanna play? Do you wanna play blackjack? Sure. Damn. We got a real blackjack game in here? You have a hundred bucks. I'll bet 25. Uh, stay. Oh, that motherfucker. Uh, hit me. Uh, I bust. Elaborate. Stay. I win. Yeah, <laughs> just puts a, puts a birthday hat on top of a fucking shark's nose. I love it. Hello, hello, Sonny, are you there? It's Amari again. All right. Oh. Do you remember me? It's your old friend, Kel. So I, uh, I noticed a for sale sign in front of your house, and I, uh, heard from my mom that you were moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go or whatever, for old time's sake, you know? Okay, I saw some of you guys mention this. So apparently this game, basically the way it's set up is that there are two main routes in this game and they are determined by whether you open the door this time or not. Apparently the last time didn't count. And the reason why you guys told me this is that you guys were recommended it's actually a bit better if I instead not open the door. Kind of like how apparently it was better and you know, there was a certain route in AI, the Somnium files, right? Even though I, I just happened to pick it by chance. Um, but I saw that you guys were recommended for this first playthrough. It's actually better to not open the door. I do find it interesting that the first time you do this, apparently whether you open the door or not doesn't matter, but it does kind of make me wonder then like, what is, what happens to Kel when I open the door? If Mari seemed to have essentially a broken neck, what does Kel look like? Well, sadly, we're not going to, we're not going to be able to see it this time, but yeah, so apparently uh, you kind of have to play through the game twice. So, uh, the save file that I just, I just saved. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to. I will say, hopefully the game has a fair amount of variance between the two paths. I hope it's not like I'm doing the same thing over again because essentially you are, you know, going back and back to your lower level stuff, meaning you're gonna go through and reacquire the same abilities you got the first time right when you leveled up. Um, but it is necessary, according to you guys, to get the full story to play both sides of the route. So, uh, sorry, Kel, I guess not. I wonder if I can go in the living room now. Or whatever that other room up there is. God damn it, I still can't go in there. Actually, it probably isn't the living room. We, we already kind of... The living room is right by where the front door is. I don't know what room that is then. Oh, oh wait, no, I know what it is. It's probably Mari's room, right? Because that's the mom's room, right? Um, I wonder if, I wonder if uh, the dad's here or not. Like, is, the, is it a single mother? The bathroom, my room, and then that must be Mars' room, and he doesn't want to go in there. Probably bad memories, right? Uh, uh-oh. Uh, Mari hasn't been home in a long time. Hmm, is that Basil again? 
I'm almost actually start. I actually initially thought that Basil was the uh, the light, like the the bright, seeing the bright side of things in Amori. But I'm actually not sure now. Maybe maybe Basil is the darkness, or maybe he represents both. Just kind of weird that if that were the case, and why would it seem at the start like he was like the positive innocence? Maybe it's just showing how easily that can be taken away. I I, I don't know. <laughs> Sure, get out of my way, weird, weird Cthulhu monster. Oh, God damn it, these stairs again. Darkness. Oh, that's a cool effect. <laughs> Eat that spider. No need to be afraid. So you can step all over them, Mori. Uh-oh. Ooh! Ooh, big giant creepy spider legs! It's like, nope, I'm done. You meet both, little buddy. Keep going, more. Ow! Fuck! I think I see the top. Hey! Ah, it's you! Hey, how's it going? He's like, you want to fight me? Bitch, you bet your ass I do. Get out of my fucking work. Oh, no. Mari? Also in black and white. Holy shit. Wait, 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 wait. Fucking knew it. Always check the mirror, right? Is there a demon behind me? Yep. <laughs> Always has been. Bang. Oyasumi. That's the name of this achievement. Does Basil represent the white space, maybe? It would explain why he's all white, right? Just let yourself go, Amori. The darkness waits. Uh, anything out here? Oh! Oh, shit! Ooh, that was a little Easter egg. I saw Mari there. She was out there. Waiting for me in the darkness. All right. Lots of little details are really easy to miss in this game. <laughs> what do they like call for me? Like Beetlejuice? A boy! A boy! A boy! <laughs> it's showtime. <laughs> this ain't a, like a completely monotone face. Yeah! <laughs> Ew, gross, get a room. Jeez, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> God, get a room together. Play some Fortnite, why don't you? Stop disappearing like that. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to the metaverse. Sorry, big sis, I'm going to the metaverse. Ew, <laughs> well, I miss with Benzie to remind me to wash my hands. Look, they're so dirty. Look how dirty they are, Mark. Yeah. I swear to God, if you touch me with those hands, I'm going to cut them right off. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, this, this is why you and I just get along the best, Jamari. Ain't that right, buddy? Slaps down the back, pull up my knife. I'm like, motherfucker, I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a forest west of Stump, but... It's gross full of spiders. Spooters. Ugh, spiders. Well, you know what that, what that means. Time to sack up. What's the gas side of fish your fears, little brother? And that means you too, hero. I don't want to. Come on, big brother. Get back out now. Just like how it is with Amari. We're here to support you all the way. So we're just going to throw a giant box of trashes on you and get you over this shit real fast. Here we go. No, no, no. <laughs> ah! 
Well, my favorite character in the whole wide world, Browse. Ah! He's doing good. What the? Oh, well, hot diggity dog. It's a hot diggity dog. She said, I am the perfect length to block this path. Really? Really, hot diggity dog? Hot diggity doodah doodly day. Oh, fuck, no. How oh, are uh, you this fine be evening? Isn't it that? Oh, God damn, I hate you. Why did I talk to you? I forgot. Whether it just be you to... Huh. You are beautiful. Oh, God, please. Uh oh. Oh no. The darkness is coming again. I thought I just got out of the darkness. I think I'm going in a nice little circle here. A case full of crystals. A case full of little bones. Oh, and we're back. All right, ready to get off now. Train is moving. Ah! Uh-oh. What the hell is that? Oh, fuck, we're all afraid, except for me. <laughs> wow. Even Aubrey and Hero and Keller are like, the fuck is this shit? Welcome to my world, assholes. <laughs> gonna fucking punch it. Sunny. Oh, interesting. He said Sunny. Ow. I was not expecting this shit. Sunny. 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 Get out here. You dank deer. Uh, right in the heart. Sonny, I'm sorry. Hmm. Uh, ladies and gents, we have arrived at our stop. Welcome to Ordrasis, where the moon shines brighter. Please exit the train in orderly fashion. Headed by Mayor Syx, moon shine down. And also come buy my t-shirts. I'm still selling them. I know, we're still in stock. I can't believe it either. Hey look, it's the guy with the face that, with the, just like the wall face. These hollow spaces I mark. In them, I have hidden my most precious belongings. Yes, I smash my face to remember. But lightly, any harder and it would break. Smash any harder and it would break. So we got a job for Aubrey. <gasps> oh, fuck. Smash softly. My most precious belongings. Why did you do that, little girl? Die. That's disgusting, Kel. Why would you think that? You're so weird. What the hell, Brad? You're edible, you crazy bitch. Are you telling me this whole fucking area is edible? Is that lemonade over there? Sure, it's hot out here, though. Remember to stay hydrated, everyone. Stay hydrated with my good, luscious candy apples. And then, Hero, I got some candy apples specially made for you. Just around the corner over here, behind the bleachers that just sprang up out of nowhere. Okay, I'll uh, come over and... Uh, holy moly! <laughs> Those are some candy apples! Oh, yeah! And more so, he's like, God, I hate my older sister so much. <laughs> ah, ah. He's like, shit, covering his ears. No! Ke Aubrey and Keller are like, I don't know what they're talking about. Me neither. I just like watching Amori suffer. <laughs> Fuck you guys! <laughs> my friends are assholes. Tomato kid. I am slight. I am slightly bothered by the amount of rain. Hello there, I'm Tomato Kid. And this is my friend Eggplant Head. Ah, my hair looks like a dick! <laughs> blur, blur. <laughs> ah, blur. Hey, Booichi, look at this throbbing purple shaft on my head. Yeah. Ew, get away from me. Come on, Booichi, touch it. Yeah. <laughs> the 
fuck it. We just remaking this high. <laughs> Feeling comfortable. Beep boop boppity doodly doodly. Wait, where's that one? What about that one with bleh? Now it says. <laughs> Let's respect the other one. Bleh. <laughs> Uh, jelly's bed, peanut's bed, peanut butter jelly top, peanut butter jelly top, peanut butter jelly top. I, you know what is sort of making me I'm like sort of realizing too? Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Do I feel a bit bad for the people who had to design all these unique-looking buildings that get used literally one time? <laughs> So, seriously, we did, they made an entire orange theme house around orange, this orange guy. And that's his only, he's gonna be the only one with stuff like that. And then he has furniture that looks like orange stuff too. And then other places have donut shaped stuff. And then other ones have mouse sh shaped stuff. And then the ones before that have fucking like other fruits and vegetables and shit. It's like, cool, how often are we gonna use it? One time for one house. That's right, get fucked. As someone who worked on a game as, 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 themselves at some point, my deepest sympathies to the artists who put so much time into just like, it's it's sort of hard to like, to make a, a massive fucking like design for a just one specific area, all right? So usually it's something you hope to be using throughout your entire project. So just use it for just one thing is like, ah, painful. <laughs> What the heck is this? Uh-oh. It's death. What the hell? Where am I? I'm beginning to regret my life decisions. Frowny face. You should have listened. What do you mean I should have listened? Big arrow. No, fuck you. I'm going this way now. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> Always big. No, no. Should have listened. Now you must die. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's the there's the joke. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. <laughs> Broke ya. Let's go talk to this cactus with the face. <laughs> we cactus. Greetings! Thank you for talking to me. <gasps> Got hundred clams. Cool. Good cactus. Mmm. Ah, ah! Is that man on fire? I should do something about that. Woo! Come here, sir. Sir, I'll help you out. Sir. Ah! I think I can do anything. That'll be like a bad guy or something I can fight. Here, I'll help you put the fire out. Just start smacking the shit out of him. Ah, 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 you're making it worse. Ah! There are so many different healing items in this game. Good lord. I would actually I would actually say I think by this point, this is a little overkill, alright? This is a little overkill. Look at this. There's so many. I get it. Some of them heal like you know a specific amount of this heal, like a percentage and stuff, but it's it's a little like good god. And after a while, of course, right? Once time goes by, some of these early ones like tofu and fucking candy are gonna become like completely useless. Can I talk to you? Hey, man, what's up? Uh, oh, I can't. Howdy ho, youngins. Y'all do me a favor. Might do me a favor. I need you to scratch an itch for me. It's on my bottom, so I can't really get to it. Uh, just absolutely killing me. All right. I'm gonna scratch your ass. All the way the fuck over here, right? No? Not here? This is your ass, isn't it? Or do I get, get inside your ass? What in the fuck? Look at these dinosaurs. They're going on an excavation. Oh my God, look at this Chad right here, guys. Fucking Chad. Yeah, poop, poop, pyramids, neck, right, lot, fighting lost things. Ancient artifacts, old relics lost to time. Possibilities are endless. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Oh, it was a pterodactyl. I was back, I didn't even see him. I was, fuck, that was a super loud sound bite. The last, uh, the last time I tried Dino Dig, I found lots of amazing treasure. But this time I tried Dino's Dig, I just found some granola bars. What the fuck? Whoa, oh, oh, this is ass. You scratched Scott's bottom. Oh, I thought he was the pyramid. Oh, watch better. Keep scratching. 
keep scratching the bottom. Yeah, get in there. Dig deep, I'm all right. Okay, okay, now you just give me a rash. Come on, boy. Come on, boy, stop. Stop, boy, stop scratching me. <laughs> His tail comes over, smacks me in the face. Ah! Why'd you hit me? It was Kel I was doing it. No, it was. It was Tilly Amari. Yeah, he totally deserved it. Good job. Good job, Scott. <laughs> Dino-tastic. <laughs> Fuck my walking animation. Fuck you. I'm just gonna hop. This is how dinos walk. Didn't you know that? <laughs> there you go. Right on, brother. You're quick later, aren't you? In our special dig site, the food pyramid, you'll be able to uncover super rad treasure from all over the universe. Best part is, you get to keep anything you find. That's a dino guarantee. Let me tell you about our dig site. Food pyramid has four levels. You always start on the first level, but if you're lucky, you might find a pyramid key. It unlocks the pyramid key to the next level. The higher you go, the better treasure will be. Now here's the catch. Each spoon has a limited amount of use before it breaks. For example, potato spoons will break after you dig five times. Every spoon... If your spoon breaks, the treasure hunt ends. The pyramid get closed. We will call you back to the entrance. You said everything I said so far. Yes. Dino tastic. Now it's time for our dino 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 disclaimer. Treasure is the only thing you can find, find the food pyramid. During your round, you might find some troublesome critters looking for a fight. We are not liable for any damage to you or your <laughs> your property during your adventure, you dig. If a critter knocks you out during battle, it'll be a real game over. That's for it, <laughs> and then I'll come over and eat your dead lifeless bodies. I'm a carnivore, you know. I heard an omnivore, one of those. All stuff for you to do is, is to go up the stairs, smell the sweet food pyramid air, start digging. Have a dynatastic adventure. I don't know. Is that a burger bunny? Oh my God. Burger bunny. Oh my, no, it's a bun bunny. Bun bunny. So many bun, oh my God, this bunny's pissed. Come on. Give me a th Oh my God, yeah. That's the shit right there. 4,000 experience. Oh my God, I think I just went up two levels. I learned trick, power hit. Holy fuck, okay. Another dino dollar. And my spoon bites the dust. Big spoon down! That's game over! Game over! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Dinosaur comes over, picks me up in his mouth, and just throws me out the door. They do have a lot of cool treasure. I hope you enjoyed your Dino Tastic Adventure. I sure did, Dino Dave, or whatever the fuck your name is. My name's just Dino Dipshit! Oh my god, he still does so much damage, fuck. What the hell? I, I he didn't act. I, I huh? His move is just to act first. Apparently, if the enemy's faster, I guess it still doesn't work. I guess this means act first in terms of your party. I thought it meant always act first. Damn it, Kelly, you're the first one to fucking die. Right, I'm gonna try something. I'm actually gonna. I have. I realized that happy makes your speed go up, right? So. If I have him, if I have Kel happy, and then I have him flex, oh fuck. And then I do run and gun. How much fucking damage can I do? And this guy's on angry, right? So it should do even more damage. Let's fucking see. Do it, Kel. No! Oh, get fucked, he's still alive. Because he's a god. Holy fuck. I think I just found the OP mix there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One damage. I don't feel good about this. So that gets 20, this one gets 10, and then this one gets 15. Okay. So silver spoon. I wonder if there's a gold spoon. A legendary golden spoon. Maybe get to the end or something. Hector says nothing, but uh, you sense that he is happy inside. What? Ah, uh, ah, uh, Kel, my old, my old friend. 
I'm so sorry. I'm afraid things have changed and I can no longer accompany you. What? What's happening? You see, I have a family now. What the fuck? No. Hector. Wait. Hector Jr., what are you doing? Are you saying that you want to join them? That there's more to life than just staying here? Oh, Hector Jr., I... I understand you well. Even this old store knew how to just have fun once. May you all have memorable adventures together. Go on, and join him, Hector Jr., into his pocket. You got Hector Jr. Yeah, just like that. I guess this is farewell in. Thank you for never giving up on finding me, Kel. What the hell? You're telling me he could have talked the whole time? Hector Jr., be good, you'll be good, okay? Don't forget your family. We're always here for you. Hope that the next time we meet, you'll have flourished into a wonderful polished rock. Don't worry, Hector. I'll take good care of Hector Jr. Who did you fuck, by the way? <laughs> by the way, he comes over smacks Kel in the face. Ow, what was that for? That was for dropping me on the ladder, you idiot. I was on the ground the whole time and you didn't notice? I was flipped over, stupid! Oh, oh, that makes sense. <gasps> A quest! <gasps> Is that... Aragni? Is that you? Eh? Where am I? Who are you? Wait a demon second. You look kind of familiar. That body shape. That citrusy exterior. It's undeniable. You must be Orange Joe's twin brother! Aragni Joe! My name is Aragni Joe, and I have a twin brother? Yeah, he's been looking for you all this time. Here, take this. He told us to give this to you. You gave Aragni Joe the orange crest. Behold, you might be a lemon, but in reality, no, you're an orange on the inside. This, this crest, could it be? Ever since I was young, I've looked everywhere for my true home. This only thing, only thing I've had to my name was this pendant with an orange shaped crest engraved on it. The same one that appears on this orange crest. It all makes so much sense now. I know who I am. It must, I must be Arachnid Joe. Brother! <laughs> Brother! I don't believe my eyes. It really is you. What the hell? You just showed up here anyway? So you're saying we didn't accomplish anything? Yes, brother, it is me, Arachne Joe. There is no mistake. I can feel it in my citrusy heart. Oh, how I've missed you, dear brother. Yes, my body is full of hope and vigor. How I've waited for this day. We be the last, dear brother. Let us embrace. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <So beautiful. laughs> I must thank you, children. I have thought about my, my dear brother forever every day of my life, and now he is finally here. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. You got life jam. Really? That's it? Just some fucking... Fuck you, dude. Get out of here. Yes! Thank you for reuniting us. I have always sold to find my one true home. Take this. It's a gift from me. I got another life jam. Fuck you, too. Give me a lemon-shaped gun. Come on, dear brother. Come now, dear brother. Let's go home. You are too gracious, dear brother. It's all versus me. Let's walk together. Open I just love how good happy ending. Fuck. Uh, hey, here we go. Oh my god, real realistically, chickens and rabbits. This is terrifying. I can only imagine how demon powerful they are. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can't get away. Oh god. Literally cannot run. Bunny's too powerful. I can't get away. I'm gonna die. I died. Fuck. Stupid bunny. Ancient code. What the hell is that? A mysterious code. What could it mean? Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> is that lost? 
Damn, man, I am just fucking lucking the fuck out here. Let me find literally everything that isn't the fucking key. Was it even in here? I think I dug up everything. I didn't even find the key. Damn, I must have lucked out really hard the first time I did this because I cannot fucking find the damn pyramid key now. Dude, this is like my sixth time trying to to, trying to do this and I, I'm not getting a pyramid key to show up. Wait, hold on a second. God damn it. God damn it. Oh my God. I thought, I was like, wait a minute. Do I just still have the key? I do. I just have the key. Chicken. All right. I've actually got to, I've actually got to move that ax first. Lucky slice. Strong one more, he's happy, but I don't know. I'm thinking this character, this, this enemy might just be super fast, but have like barely any health. All right. Will this work? Chicken runs away. No, he's definitely, nah, he's got more health than that. That, that worked, but I got to do more damage. Shit, if I, if I have, uh, if I have that happy thing on Amori, that might work, right? All right, try this. Ah! Damn it! Yeah! There we go. Gotcha, motherfucker. Little chicken asshole. So I noticed that for whatever reason, the, the chickens don't seem to come back again after you have like fought one of them. So I just like, I just kept loading back up again. And I happened to run to a chicken who had actually started off in anger state and already had a more in happy state with the with the daisy and then used the lucky slice moving bit 24 under experience. Oh, that's it, huh? What the hell? There's another chicken. What do you got up here, chicken? Dino clumps. Whole, a whole pizza. Die, chicken. What in the fucking fuck? What? Why did this one give me so much more experience? Wasn't it the same thing? 5,000 clams. I got a chicken ball? Chicken ball Z. Uh, Aubrey learned mash. What the hell? Ain't nobody here but us chickens. I got an achievement too. Funny that chicken didn't run away in the first turn like the other ones did. Wonder why. Chicken ball? Is that an accessory? Is it a weapon for Kel? What in the, what? Oh my, what? A chicken ball. What else would it be? Just like a ball of chicken shit. What, just what do you mean? Like a chicken shaped into a ball? <laughs> and it increases my speed by 200. 200. What? Yeah, you know, I'll take that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Run and gun with this shit. Run and gun with happy. And then angry on the enemy in this shit? What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? That was, was that like a rare drop or something? He gave me a, was, hold on a second. I'm super confused. Was this bunny or was this chicken different from the other chickens? Why did he give me so much more experience? I mean, this guy's gave me like 2,500. Is he like down here somewhere? I guess that's your reward for getting up here. That's pretty cool, I guess. I can't imagine this dude responds, all right? I can't imagine he does. 10,000 experience, Jesus. 
You guys want to see some? Let's see some crazy shit. All right, I want to see some absolutely fucking mad lad shit here. Let's see this shit. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Well, well. <laughs> That was a flexed, happy, run-and-gun kill on an angry opponent. And it did 2,298 damage. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, I think. I think I'll, I'll do, I'll, I'll do, 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 uh, I'll do, I'll do pretty well, I think. It's, a, it's pretty all right, I, I think. I think, you did, I think you're doing okay there, Cal. Well, I just went up uh, 13 levels in one episode. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's normal. And also acquired a uh, move that increases Kel, that turns Kel into fucking Sanic. <laughs> and what combined with his running gun just basically makes him into an unstoppable god. Just another normal let's play. <laughs> just another Nico let's play.